This video reviews how to apply the X lookup function to an Excel workbook using the Python library OpenPy Excel. In this document, you can see five rows of food, each color coded with the color written out next to it. Column D contains that same data, but is organized in a different way. Let's start off by taking a look at the X lookup function as if I was to write it into Excel directly. So here is the X lookup function. And for this video, I will be focusing only on the first three arguments, which are required for the X lookup function to work. The first argument is the lookup value, which is that value I'm looking for in a separate location in the document. In this case, I'm looking for the value contained in cell D1, orange. The second argument is the lookup array, which is where that value in D1 exists elsewhere in the document. In this example, that value is in column A, so I will highlight the entire column. The third required argument is the return array. This is the array that contains the value I would like to return which in our case is in column B. And with that closed out, we can see that orange is accurately displaying next to orange. Now I will go ahead and delete this column to remove the function from the workbook. I will save it and close it so we can put the function in with Python. Here I am bringing in the workbook as WB and I'm selecting the worksheet I just displayed as WS. And in the cell below, I will be saving the work. So let me start by bringing over the function as it was just displayed to you. Here we can see that I am assigning cell E1 of the document the same X lookup function that I just demonstrated. You'll notice there is something odd about it though. There is an extra bit of text here that wasn't included in the function when I wrote it in Excel. Don't worry about understanding the syntactical difference. Excel just needs a bit of extra text for this function to work when it's being input via Python. If you'd like to see what happens when you don't include this prefix, please do check out this other video that I've posted on this subject. It's in the link above, and I will include that link in the comments. But for now, to show that this formula works, I will execute the cell. I'll save the document and reopen the workbook. And here we can see the color orange is accurately displaying next to the food with that same X lookup formula. Let me go ahead and delete the column once again so I can use Python to input the formula for the entire column E. To do this, I will grab a for loop that I have written ahead of time and explain in detail how you can iterate through the rows to apply the function to an entire column. Here we have a for loop iterating through a specific range of numbers. I start with the number one and use the max row attribute of the worksheet to designate when the for loop should stop. I add one to that last number because the range function does not include the second number within the loop. So if I want to loop from one to five, which represents the range of cells that I do have, I have to state that we need to loop in a range one through six. Using this max row attribute ensures that the loop exits once there are no more rows of data. Each iterating variable is going to be called row in this case. I am selecting each row as they iterate up one by one, and I'm making sure that my lookup value is also increasing so that the row in column E matches the X lookup in column D. The rest of the function, as you can see from the cell above, remains the same. Let me go ahead and execute the cell. I will save the document and check the workbook. And here you could see that the X lookup function has been applied correctly to each row, returning the correct color for each food. So it is quite easy. All you have to do is write the X lookup function and make sure that the lookup value is searching for the correct value as you are iterating through a loop. 
Thank you all for watching. Please do keep an eye out for more videos on Python and OpenPixel coming out soon. Please leave a comment below letting me know if this was useful and letting me know what other topics you might like to see reviewed. Please do give a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it or if you found it was helpful. Doing so really helps other people become aware that this is out there. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can be alerted when the next video comes out.